<laughs> What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today I'm going to be explaining why you should not buy the brand new HomePod that just came out. The first reason is the price and what you get. So the price of the first generation HomePod was $350. This one is $300, where they're making products seem a lot cheaper by just to the nearest hundred and then just tracking one from it. Well, I believe that is a good way to sell more products, the HomePod should not get this. What you get is basically a HomePod mini with spatial audio and something called room tracking, which I'm not exactly sure what it is, but with HomePod OS 16.3, the HomePod mini sound quality will also get a lot better. Technically not worth it. Now Apple did go out of their way to say that this temperature tracking sensing thing is really good. Now I believe it is really good and I'm going to test it out myself when I can get it, but I don't need to buy a brand new HomePod. I can just use my HomePod mini since that is also getting the temperature sensing feature. Because I guess it had the temperature sensor, but is it taking advantage of it? Apple, please. Same with the Apple Watch let me like track my temperature or something. Another thing is if you are planning on getting this HomePod and you already have a HomePod mini and you're gonna use the dual speaker mode, it won't work. Mostly because the speaker systems are different between the HomePod mini and the, this brand new HomePod. So therefore it's not gonna work because if it did work, it would sound very weird. It's gonna sound just as weird as using an iPhone speaker and pairing it with a MacBook speaker. And you can basically test that out at home. It just sounds really Really weird. Being completely honest, I think Apple is just trying to rip you off here since for $200 cheaper, you can get something that's almost as capable as this HomePod. The biggest thing is that you're going to be sacrificing sound quality. With the S7 chip, I have a feeling this will get more software features. Probably not as worth it to be honest. That you might as well just buy two HomePod minis or just one. I would just go with one to be honest. The HomePod mini also comes in multiple different colors, while with the regular HomePod you just get midnight and silver. Pretty much all you get from the regular HomePod. But the HomePod mini, you have editions of orange, yellow, and blue, and they fit a lot better in the workspace and they look a lot better as well. And if you want to hide the HomePod mini, it's easier to hide the HomePod mini behind a shelf or something, whereas the HomePod is a lot taller, and therefore I think you should buy the HomePod mini. Now, who is the regular HomePod for? I will include that in this video. Well, if you want like a superior sound system or something like that, it will work as that. For example, you can use the dual speaker system as like if you're a DJ or something. But to being completely honest, that would be using Bluetooth and Bluetooth is pretty limited right now in compared to wires that you might as well just buy a regular speaker. Now, obviously I would not go with Google Home or Alexa or something like that. I just go for the HomePod mini. You can find that it's a really good deal if you could find a really cheap HomePod. But anyways, that's gonna wrap up this video. Let me know if this changed your mind about the HomePod and if you're gonna get the HomePod mini or not. So thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.